bit and she's brave. She can be cheeky. She never is brave. Mrs. Gobo is a very bouncy goat. He loves it to bite. day on Big Barn Farm and everyone is having fun in the sun. In fact, everything is fine and dandy. Everything's fine and dandy. Until Gobo finds that a piece of cloud has fallen down and landed in his field. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's that, Gobo? A piece of cloud? Has it come from the sky? Do you think something might be happening? Hmm, I'm going to show the others, see what they think. Yes, you go and show the others, see what they think. Go, 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 go. Hmm, I'm not sure. It certainly looks like a piece of cloud. Of course it is. It's white, it's fluffy, uh, so it's a cloud. And clouds are part of the sky. Oh, I'm going to see what's happening out there. Mm. <laughs> Go on then, but uh, be careful. <laughs> Gobo is wondering what to do with the piece of cloud. Dash thinks they should put it somewhere safe, in case they can fix it back up in the sky again. Um, what about in the straw? Hmm, in here? Oh, it might be too warm and melt. What about somewhere high? Dash is worried they might not be able to get it back down again. Hmm. What about this box? That's brilliant, Gobo. A box is just the place to put the piece of cloud. But look out, Digger's back. And it looks like bad news. Oh no, what's this? More cloud? What's up, Digger? Trouble? Oh, afraid so. Big trouble. More clouds falling down. <gasps> Look! Oh, no! Petal, Gobo, Dash and Digger are pretending that nothing is going on because they know something the rest of the farmyard doesn't. Don't mention the cloud, whatever you do. We mustn't. Everyone will panic if they know the clouds are falling down. But none of the other animals guess a thing, except the chickens. What's up? Uh, nothing? What are you doing? Uh, nothing. We're not stupid. Get on to something. What's going on? They're on to us. Quick, run! <laughs> Oh no! More bits of cloud have fallen from the sky! What are we going to do? Hmm, we need something tall to hold them all up. Good plan, Dash. But what would be tall enough to hold up the clouds? Hmm... What about this ladder? Hmm, it's certainly tall enough to reach the top of the straw bales. I'm not sure it's going to reach the clouds. Are you? Nice try, though, Digger. Thanks. Maybe it's time to look for something else that can help. Mac the horse is certainly very tall, but do you think he's tall enough to hold up the clouds? Excuse me, sir. Do you think you'd be tall enough to hold up the clouds? No. Oh, thanks anyway. Don't mention it. Hmm, think, think, think. Um, hey, what about a tree? A tree might be tall enough to hold up the clouds. What do you think? Yes, what about that tree? 
Well, it's taller than the ladder and much taller than Mac the horse. Ah, come on, let's go. Hey, wait for me. Oh, dear. It was a good idea, but even though the tree is the tallest thing of all, they realise it still doesn't reach the clouds. Any more bright ideas? OK, what about uh, if we ran away from the clouds and then they can't fall on us? Hmm, it's got to be worth a try, Digger. Run! Which way? <laughs> Well, has running away from the clouds helped? They're still falling out of the sky. What about shouting at the clouds? So, if you shout at the clouds, they might stay up in the sky? Let's give it a go. Let's shout. <laughs> go, Farmyard Bunch. <laughs> you tell those clouds. <laughs> Oh dear, shouting at the clouds seems to have made it worse. The sky is getting darker. Oh, what was that farmyard bunch? It's thunder, let's go! Oh, quick, run! Look it! Wait for me! The farmyard bunch finally decide to tell someone else about the clouds falling out of the sky. But who can they tell? How about Madame? Yes! I like Madame. She's French. Well, she's wise, isn't she? French and wise. <laughs> That's good enough for Petal. The clouds are falling down. I know, I have collected lots of pieces over there. What are we to do? Take cover! Well, I'm not going to sit and wait for all the clouds to fall down. We need to do something. But what? Well, there must be someone who can help us. Digger, why don't you go and ask Lester? Lester? Are you sure, Farmyard Bunch? Oh, I can do that. I can do that. Brrr, clouds falling down? Brrr, not without my say-so. I tell the sun when to rise and the moon when to go to bed. Brrr. Lester's pretty sure he's in charge of the clouds. Yes, I'm in charge of everything on Big Barn Farm. What? Even the farmer's son and that ball? The clouds wouldn't dare fall on me. Oops, that How ball rude. didn't do as it was told, did it, Lester? I'm going to teach that boy a lesson one day. But what about the clouds, Lester? We've got to warn the farmer. Surely he can stop the clouds from falling down? Sure. But he's never really going to believe a piglet, a goat, a donkey and a dumb dog. Hey, not so much of the dumb. OK, maybe we can't speak to him, but how about we take the piece of cloud and put it outside the farmhouse? I get it, Digger. So the farmer will discover the cloud and put two and two together and... And he'd be able to stop the clouds falling down. Hooray! Gobo's getting the secret piece of sky out of his special box. Oh, phew. It's still there, then. Where did you think it would be? Dunno. I thought it might have melted or something. This is no time for silly talk. We've got to get this piece of cloud up to the farmhouse so the farmer can see it. OK, Farmyard Bunch, let's go to work. <sighs> <sighs> Oh. <laughs>
The four friends are on their way to the farmhouse to show the farmer their piece of cloud. But here comes old Pop. Hello, you lot. Why the long faces? Uh, because I'm a donkey? Old Pop, I think we've got something that maybe we shouldn't have. Want to share it with a wise old dog? Piece now of they're falling down. In a bite of dust. And it. I thought it would melt. The farmyard bunch are glad to share their problem with Old Pop. Old Pop tells them that a problem shared is a problem halved. They tell him that they're on their way to see the farmer. They show him their piece of cloud. Clouds, eh? You think that's a piece of cloud, do you? Well, you better follow me. I think I can help. Good plan. I knew he'd know what to do. So did I. I knew first before you. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Less arguing. Follow me. <laughs> Old Pop's taking them to see the sheep. <laughs> Tell me what you see. Duh. Sheep. No. Look closer. Oh, no! Bits of clouds! Bits of clouds! Help! Oh, no! Calm down. Old Pop tells them to look again. No, not bits of clouds. Bits of wool from the sheep. Huh? Wool? Old Pop calls over one of the sheep. Eunice, the old ewe. Eunice, excuse me. Mm -hmm. These youngsters thought your wool was bits of cloud. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> yeah. If you're daft. <laughs> Petal's a bit embarrassed. She's not keen on being laughed at. <laughs> yes, aren't they silly? I knew it was wool all along. You did? I was just joking. You fibber. Oh, no, really, Gobo. I knew the clouds would never really fall down from the sky. There's nothing to be scared of. But, but what about all the clouds we found? I mean, wool. Yeah, what's it for? We wear it to keep warm, and after we've worn it, the farmer does. Eh? Hey? Look! What Eunice means is sheep's wool is used for knitting things like woolly hats, woolly jumpers, and woolly socks, like the farmer's. <laughs> it looks like the farmer could do with some more of your wool. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for now. See you again soon down on Big Barn Farm. This is Petal, she's a piglet and she's brave. She can be cheeky. But she never This is Gobo, he's a very bouncy goat. He loves to play. And eats all day. Uh, pardon? There's a dinky little donkey named Dash. If you're in trouble, oh, yeah. in a flash. This is Digger, he's a happy little pup. Is he cute? Dead right. Can he bark? Not quite. <laughs> the ducks are splashing in and out the pond. Up the chicken. Gossip, gossip, all day long. My dad is French and lovely. <laughs> and we all know who goes cock a doo <laughs> Mrs. Snuffles and her piglets come to play. <laughs> and on pot makes sure that everyone is safe. <gasps> Who's the tallest of them all? Is the horse? And last, not least, their friends. The sheep. Now you've seen them all together. And they love to be together. They'll be friends forever down the beach.